300 million year head start on man, the insect begins to develop his powers. He dominates the earth and exploits his dominion well. With each new generation come new experiments in shape and function, transforming him into specters as limitless as the imagination of the insane. Unlike other creatures who struggled against their environment, he learned early to seek its protective embrace. Creating an endless wardrobe of camouflage, he and his environment became one. When the predators came, he was nowhere to be found. So artistic his methods of deception that they would crawl upon his body in their very search for prey. miracle of his escape had yet to come. At a time before other creatures were even aware there was a sky, the insect was able to leave the ground. Fifty million years before the first bird would appear, the insect had accomplished flight. An ingenious system of hinges and muscles carrying his awkward body upward in sublime defiance of the hungry creatures below. Having exploited the water and land, now into a virgin sky they soared. Their instinctive need for expansion nurtured by the winds of heaven itself. Like a cloud of contagious virus, they sweep across the land, infecting with their numbers the entire face of the globe. But the prehistoric earth is not without defense, for carefully interwoven in the matrix of innocent beauty is a macabre masterpiece of revenge. Plants too have become predators. The cobra plant luring its victims into a maze where they will be constricted and digested without mercy. Gaping its jaws with menacing hunger, 
the Venus flytrap beckons with gentle perfume. Beautiful Sundu, a murderess in disguise, tempting with imitation succulence all to come forth. Instead of sweet nectar, they will find sticky paste. Their very struggle to escape exciting the deadly tentacles to descend. born of necessity, others too become an instrument of death. <laughs> 